Chapter 2231, Super Unlucky. Fifteen minutes ago, Annie Prefecture's Prefecture Lord Guan Zhotang had been inside his residence, attempting to break through to the level 14 spiritual realm. However, just as he was at the critical juncture of his cultivation, he got bitten by the watchdog he had personally nurtured. Guan Zhotang truly did not expect Chi Lianhai to backstab him. That strike did not hit his vitals and the energy current around him even sent Chi Lianhai's Sabba flying. However, this interruption caused the spiritual energy in his body to diverge. Unluckily for Guan Zhotang, this caused him to instantly enter vital energy deviation. His spiritual energy ran amok, and his orifices all bled at once. Just as he struggled with all his might to suppress his rampaging spiritual energy, the deed Chi Lianhai actually stabbed him in the back again. Just as Guan Zhotang turned around, he felt two cold lights fly into his eyes. He reflexively howled and started striking blindly. One of his hits landed on Qi Lianhai and sent the latter flying. Even though Guan Zhotang could not see, he could still utilize his spiritual conscious. Therefore, he swiftly lunged over without another word and finished Qi Lianhai off with his sword. By this time, Guan Zhotang's eyes had become a bloody mess. He was agitated since he suspected that he would most likely lose his sight. Head steward who braced himself and asked, Pre-Prefecture Lord, Th the Tower of Wondrous Treasures has been looted. Ah! Anger consumed Guan Zhotang, and he struck out at head steward who at once. He turned around with disheveled hair, and he glowered at Head Steward who with bloody dyes. Head Steward who jolted from fright. He made an effort to get up from the ground and scrambled to Guan Zhotang's feet. He wept, Sir Prefecture Lord, there truly is something fishy about this incident. We subordinates conducted multiple searches outside the Tower of Wondrous Treasures, but we did not find a single trace. Yet, yet all the items inside the Tower of Wondrous Treasures have, have actually vanished. Guan Zhotang sent head steward who tumbling with a kick to the latter's back. Ah, ah. Guan Zhotang was agitated and furious. He made large strides forward before suddenly stopping and rapidly returning to Qi Lianhai's side. Guan Zhotang lifted up Qi Lianhai's corpse and examined it with his spiritual conscious. Upon checking, his body shook fiercely for a while. It turned out that Chi Lianhai's body had already corroded from poison. No wonder he could not retaliate after getting struck several times. Who? Who was controlling Chi Lianhai from the shadows? Prefecture. Prefecture Lord. Head steward who called out to him with fear and trepidation. My lord, are you alright? You really did scare me to death just now. Ah. Madame Hua had wanted to come over and console Guan Zhotang, yet Guan Zhotang was not in the mood to flirt with her. He pushed Madame Hua to the floor without even sparing a glance. Guan Zhotang quickly led Head Steward Hu and the rest toward the Tower of Wondrous Treasures. He turned a deaf ear to Madame Hua calling out to him from behind. Guan Zhotang looked back and forth with a contorted expression. He hurried to the Tower of Wondrous Treasures' entrance with Head Steward Hu and company. Head steward who looked up at the blackened Tower of Wondrous Treasures, and fearfully stole a glance at his Lord Guan Zhotang. At this time, Guan Zhotang did not talk to him and directly walked into the Tower of Wondrous Treasures. Using his spiritual conscious the entire way was exhausting Guan Zhotang's mental energy. Chapter 2232 It doesn't matter even if you discover us. Moreover, after his spiritual energy diverged, he had been doing his utmost to suppress the rampaging spiritual energy in his body while they had been hurrying over. After finally suppressing his spiritual energy, he was nearly at his limit. Right now, Guan Zhotang was absorbed in worrying about what had happened to his Tower of Wondrous Treasures. He did not have time to catch his breath and directly ran toward the Tower of Wondrous Treasures' second floor. Once he reached the second floor and saw the empty floor. Guan Zhotang's heart had turned cold. He quickly made his way to the third, fourth, fifth, sixth floors. The first floor originally did not have much there, only several mystic energy beads and the like on the shelves. The thief had passed through the remaining second to the sixth floors and had even stolen the hundred treasures racks that stored the items. Ah! Guan Zhotang howled miserably, because he had exerted himself. 
blood started seeping from his eyes again. Head steward who dared not utter a sound and had shrunk in the corner, he timidly trailed ten steps behind Guan Zotang. Guan Zotang suddenly seemed to have thought of something, and he quickly ran toward the sixth floor. Head steward who and several guards sprinted to the sixth floor with him. Because they ran too fast, they were all panting to catch their breath. Guan Zotang walked straight to the center of the empty sixth floor, and the ring on his left hand suddenly lit up. Kiao Mu, who had followed them up here, couldn't help but get excited. She subconsciously gripped Mo Lian's hand. Waiting so long for this old guy was not in vain. He had finally come. He had finally come to open the Tower of Wondrous Treasures's secret room. Kiao Mu's eyes lit up as she watched Guan Zotang's every movement. A column of light landed on Guan Zotang and ascended while enveloping him. Please visit p and n 0 onecom Kiao Mu hastily pulled on Mo Lian's hand. The young couple hastily jumped into that column of light. At the same time, they felt a force pulling them upward. Guan Zotang's eyelid jerked, yet he maintained a poker force as the column of light pulled him upward. The column of light pulled Kiao Mu and Mo Lian to where the seventh floor was. The two of them looked at each other, enlightened. From the outside, it was impossible to see that it actually had seven floors, but in reality, this hidden floor was well hidden by a talisman matrix. Before Kiao Mu and Mo Lian could even take a step out onto the seventh floor, they heard the sound of clacking locks all around them. Kiao Mu looked around and saw rows of iron bars come out from the walls and trap her and Mo Lian on the seventh floor. The two of them instantly appeared before Guan Zotang. Kiao Mu sized him up and scoffed. You're rather astute. Guan Zotang had long been shaking from anger. He could vaguely make out Kiao Mu's expression with his spiritual conscious. Guan Zotang shouted agitatedly, Who, who are you? The Mer was also surprised when he heard old man Tang call. You had sent your most trusted subordinate to capture me, yet you don't know who I am. Kiao Mu sneered as she looked at Guan Zotang. It's you. Guan Zotang immediately came to a realization. Kiao Mu? He truly did not expect Miss Kiao to actually be so gutsy and barge straight into his territory. You, you which made Chi Lian Hai become like that? Guan Zotang roared. Chapter 2233. Are you stupid? Kiao Mu looked at him coldly. This seventh floor of the Tower of Wondrous Treasures was actually very empty. Only a crooked tree was growing in the middle. From the looks of it, it looked half dead more than alive. So what if I did? And what if I didn't? Is there any meaning to asking this right now? Guan Zotang looked like he was in his death throes. Kiao Mu loathed to say any more to him. She took out her ferule and injected spiritual energy inside before hitting Guan Zotang with a streak of fire. Before dispatching people to capture me, you should have known that there are some people that you can't touch. Bang! A transparent defensive boundary rose in front of Guan Zotang and blocked Kiao Mu's attack. Kiao Mu furrowed her brows as she looked over. Strange, the spiritual energy she injected had actually vanished without a trace. That streak of fire just now should have been able to break through the defensive boundary but it actually disappeared. Guan Zotang's cold sneer abruptly turned into mad laughter. You think you can touch me on this seventh floor of the Tower of Wondrous Treasures? Little lady, you are still too inexperienced. Guan Zotang walked over coldly to the old tree that had twisted roots and gnarled branches. He pointed at the tree behind him. Do you see? I purposely planted this screening tree here. Its presence is normally hidden by a talisman matrix and it won't affect people. But right now, ha 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 ha. Are you getting a bit scared? Do you feel like all the spiritual energy and spiritual conscious in your body has vanished? Guan Zotang snickered, your time to die has come. The screening tree not only blocks off people's spiritual conscious. Kiao Mu was rather curious. She recalled the tree that had blocked everyone's spiritual conscious in Poland Prefecture's Mount Tai and compared it with this crooked and with a tree. It grows like this. An ordinary screening tree can naturally only block people's spiritual conscious. However, this one I transplanted is naturally different. Guan Zotang laughed uproariously. The blood in his eyes that had still not dried flowed down and made his face look even more contorted. Ha ha ha. Are you scared? Guan Zotang snickered, 
you can kneel and beg for mercy if you're scared. Kiao Mu looked at him expressionlessly. She moved her finger in the next moment, and several dozen explosion talismans flew over and encircled Guan Zotang. What are you doing? Guan Zotang's expression finally changed. Talismans? How was this little little lady sending out so many talismans? Are you stupid? Kiao Mu swept him a cold glance and did not say anything else unnecessary. She beckoned for the several dozen explosion talismans to line up in an array in front of him. A series of explosions caused the floor of the entire Tower of Wondrous Treasures to shake. The entire Tower of Wondrous Treasures was shaking. The guards on the lower floors ran downstairs in shock, with none of them knowing what was going on. Cough, 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 cough. Guan Zotang clutched his chest and staggered backwards. He glared at the two vague figures with a pale face. His own spiritual conscious had also gotten blocked, so he could only make out two shaky figures when he was looking at Kiao Mu and Mo Lian right now. Kiao Mu curled her lips. She looked mockingly at the man who appeared after she destroyed the defensive boundary. Chapter 2234 Capture the screening tree is useless against me. She was a talisman practitioner, all right, even if it blocked her cultivation, she still had lots of talismans to use against Guan Zotang. Who exactly was the naive one? Mo Lian did not interfere from beginning to end. He merely stood on the side and looked at his Kiao Kiao's performance with a smile. Kiao Mu's face did not show any expression as she looked at Guan Zotang. You're the one who gave the order to snatch the sacred water from the holy water sect. You made the decision. Kiao Mu stared quietly at Guan Zotang with a chilliness in her eyes. It was just as if. If Guan Zotang admitted it. An abyss to hell would open up the next second, waiting to swallow him up. Guan Zotang's heart jolted. He felt an unspeakable terror when the little lady's black eyes were staring at him. If you look deep into her icy eyes, they seemed to be filled with boundless killing intent. Guan Zotang inexplicably started defending himself. I've heard of the incident with Sai Kong Planet's holy water sect. This matter is completely because Hong Jin Kun coveted the sacred water and carried out the operation on his own. Guan Zotang was also furious when he got to this point. Hong Jin Kun actually refrained from reporting such an important matter as the sacred water's discovery. He thought that the few people he commanded was enough to snatch another sect's treasure. If Hong Jin Kun didn't act on his own, it was likely that he, Guan Zotang, would possess the sacred water right now. It was possible that he could even break through to the divine realm. More talismans floated up in Kiao Mu's hand. You of course won't admit it. There is no need for you to admit to it either. Kiao Mu's gaze turned sharp, and 10, 20, 30. Countless five spirit talismans rose up around her. Guan Zotang's expression changed drastically. You. What are you doing? Heavens, what did the simultaneous explosion of more than a hundred five spirit talismans feel like? Guan Zotang found out in that instant. There was the sound of a huge tremor, and the explosive energy current knocked away head steward who, who was originally blocked outside the iron bars. He rolled down the stairs, head steward who landed headfirst and twisted his neck. By the time he got up again, he saw that the entire Tower of Wondrous Treasures had collapsed. Rubble and dust billowed outward. Head steward who choked on dust and coughed repeatedly. When he looked up again, he couldn't help but stare in shock. A gigantic crooked tree had appeared out of thin air in front of everywhere. That tree had twisted roots and gnarled branches, and its crown was also extremely large. It was so dense that it seemed to have burst through the center of the Tower of Wondrous Treasures. A young girl in pale clothes was standing beneath this ancient tree and looking upward. Head steward who looked up and his heart nearly jumped out from his chest in fright. A person was struggling as he hung upside down from that old tree, and both his hands were bound by spirit binding rope. It was none other than Guan Zotang. Any prefecture's guards had long pissed their pants in terror and fled. Head steward who also hastily scrambled away. He wanted to leave this place. He felt that if he continued staying here, Something even more unlucky might happen to him. Kiao Mu's eyes lit up as she examined the old tree in front of her. Kyukiu, why does this tree look so strange? Chapter 2235 Concealing Primordial Tree She had used so many five spirit talismans just now and destroyed the entire building. Oh no, 
She had made the ground in this area cave in, but this tree was still safe and sound. She didn't believe that there was nothing strange about this tree. Master, I can't make out anything about this tree, but since it can block spiritual conscious and spiritual energy, let's keep it. Will it affect the paradise planet's spiritual domain if you plant it there? It won't. Kukiu spoke with the confidence of how does it dare retaliate against this boss and harumped, if it makes trouble. I eat it. Kiaomu naturally believed it, as even its seed fragments were very formidable. It wasn't an exaggeration for it to eat this screening tree. Fine then. Transplant it inside. Kiaomu nodded. She did not know what to do with this strange screening tree at the moment, but since Kukiu wanted to move it into Paradise Planet, there should be some use. Kiaomu was unaware at this time that this screening tree would help her out in the future. Right now. The little fellow was like a scavenger, picking up everything she found. She even instructed Kyukiu to throw this tree further away to prevent it from affecting the peach trees. We keep calling it a screening tree, but it just told me now that it's a concealing primordial tree. Kyukiu explained helplessly, Master, this concealing primordial tree can evolve. If our spiritual domain transforms into a divine realm. Perhaps the concealing primordial tree can also block other people's divine energy and divine conscious in the future. Kiaomu, what use was that? Seeing that she didn't get the point, Kyukiu couldn't resist coughing lightly and continued, Master, do you still not understand? If we plant this concealing primordial tree inside our sect, anybody that comes to challenge our sect will lose their spiritual energy. How will they fight? Kiaomu couldn't help but snigger when she heard this. Are you making a joke? If you plant this lousy tree in our sect, how will my senior sisters train? Won't their spiritual energy and spiritual conscious also get blocked? Kyukiu, heavens, little master is too dumb. Kyukiu's mouth is going dry from explaining. Master, master, since it is in our hands. It naturally has to listen to Kukiu's orders. It'll block when I want it. Would it dare refuse? Kiaomu got the point now, and her eyes lit up. She summoned the little tree and from Paradise Planet with a wave. She held it in her hands and asked delightedly, You're saying that it can act as the protector tree of the sect in the future? Right. Kukiu nodded emphatically. Furthermore, we only need to break off its main branch to transplant it. Once it grows up, it will be definitely be able to block everything in its vicinity. Then how do we make it distinguish between friend and foe? Kiaomu asked doubtfully. It's pretty simple actually. You just need to cut a small piece of its root and brew it in tea. Drinking a small cup will make the concealing primordial tree treat you as one of its own for a month. It's as simple as drinking one cup every month. It's that simple. P1 knees visit EN0 of 1 B in. Niti. Kiaomu promptly nodded in delight. That's awesome. Quickly move it then. Kukiu danced about in her palms. Afterwards, it hopped down and emitted a lustrous green glow from its small body. It took no effort at all. In a matter of moments, the colossal tree started shaking. Swish. Chapter 2236 Food Seeking Medicinal Cauldron. With a flash of green light. The sapling Kukiu had sucked the old tree into Paradise Planet, only leaving behind. Ah, Guan Zhoutang fell to the ground head first after falling from the vanishing tree. This fall truly shook up Guan Zhoutang. His head hit the ground, instantly producing a bloody injury. He looked up while screeching. He was in a very sorry state. More blood flowed out from his heavily injured eyes. Kiaomu simply did not pay attention to Guan Zhoutang's howls. Her gaze was on the pit revealed by the absence of the tree. It was not an exaggeration to say that it was wealth that smacked her out of nowhere. After Kukiu moved the concealing primordial tree into Paradise Planet, this left behind an extremely deep pit. The blinding glow of magnificence dazzled Kiaomu's eyes. Molian flitted to Kiaomu's side. The young couple looked over into the tree pit at once. Their gazes fixed on the gemstones that were scattered inside the pit. There were all sorts of gemstones for forging and refining. They were in all colors of the rainbow, with different tints and lusters, and made from various types of material. Moreover, there were a lot of mystic beast cores and spiritual beast cores of various sizes. They were thrown inside the tree pit and gave off a shimmering glow. Swish. Kiaomu blinked and looked up. She saw a small copper cauldron dart out in front of them. It spun in midair without warning, 
just like it was an excited child that was happily performing somersaults at the sight of so many snacks. Kiaomu silently looked up to look at Molian. Crown Prince Mo could not help but say with a smile, it is rare to see the nine stars mirroring the moon cauldron so energetic. It looks like this large amount of food has stirred its interest. That's right. Kiaomu looked at Molian in exasperation. She waved her hand and caught the small copper cauldron without room for objection. Two of the cauldron's stars had lit up by this time, and the copper cauldron had turned translucent like colored crystal. It was spinning in Kiaomu's palm like an anxious child waiting for its little master to feed it. Kiaomu just jumped into this tree pit while holding the small copper cauldron and fed it a random red-colored mystic beast core. The cauldron fire inside the nine stars mirroring the moon cauldron lit up by itself. The cauldron fire promptly melted that mystic beast core into a tonic and absorbed it up completely. Kiaomu continued to feed the small cauldron some more cores including a dozen different gemstones and forging stones. The small cauldron absorbed it all quickly, turning them into tonics in less than a second and absorbing them all. Kiaomu couldn't help but sigh at this sight. She mumbled to herself, how much does it have to eat before the third star will light up? The little fellow squatted down and fed the small cauldron for several more minutes until the color of the fire turned from a crimson to a colored glaze. She then stopped in astonishment. Lian, Lian, hurry and come look. Mo Lian also jumped into the pit that was piled with various cores and gemstones. He came to Kiao Mu's side and helplessly pulled her up. What is it, my Kiao Kiao? Do you see? This fire's color actually changed. Molian nodded. Didn't you say that when the second star lit up, this medicinal cauldron's refining speed had doubled? Kiaomu nodded vigorously. That's right. Chapter 2237, Ignorant. Then perhaps once its third or fourth star lights up, this medicinal cauldron's cauldron fire might undergo a qualitative change. Kiaomu cheered and then suddenly hopped next to Molian. She hugged him and exclaimed, the cauldron fire will become even purer in the future right? In that case, I'll be able to effortlessly refine pills of excellent quality. She would not have to constantly control the fire like when she was using the small stewing pot to refine medicine. In the future, refining medicine would only be faster and more convenient. When she thought of this, Kiaomu's petite face was filled with excitement. She grabbed a handful of forging materials and tossed it into the small cauldron. She urged the small cauldron benevolently, hurry and eat. Molian couldn't help but want to laugh. This little fellow had just been disdaining the medicinal cauldron's big appetite. After finding out that the cauldron fire would improve as it gained more stars, she was now urging the medicinal cauldron to eat more. She was truly a realist. All right. Molian helplessly lifted up this little one. Pack this all up into Paradise Planet and have Kukiu slowly feed the nine stars mirroring the moon cauldron. This small cauldron can't eat too much at once. What if it has indigestion after eating too much? Won't that just be a waste? Kiaomu instantly thought that made sense. Consequently, she collected all the various forging materials inside the tree pit. What is that? Kiaomu stood at the edge of the pit and probed into the bottom. An oval bead around the size of a pigeon egg was emitting a faint purple glow. Molian sucked the oval bead into his palm. The two of them looked down and studied it. Kiaomu even poked at this faint purple bead. When she poked the surface, it would sink in. The two of them exchanged glances, both having no idea what it was. This might be an egg. Molian said hesitantly after some pondering. Crown Prince Mo wanted to laugh at Kiao Mu's expression, which looked like she was asking whether it could be eaten. How was this little fellow's expression so hilarious? We still don't know what it is, so we shouldn't just randomly eat it. Woof, 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 woof. Three puppies suddenly bounded out from Paradise Planet. They drooled at the egg in Kiaomu's hands and circled around her with their tails between their legs. What is this? Kiaomu deadpanned. Woof, 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 woof my SS. Kiaomu gruffly nudged one of the jumping little doggies to the side. Woof, 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 woof. Woof. The three little doggies circled around Kiaomu non-stop. The three of them looked at her pitifully with pleading eyes. Their drooling expressions were simply. Kiaomu squatted down again and picked up one of the little doggies to ask, 
What is this, dummy? That is the egg of the sacred beast you owe one. You want to feed it to three dogs? What is that? Kiaomu couldn't resist summoning the blood fire phoenix when she heard his flustered and exasperated shout. The small fire phoenix glared at her in a huff while flapping his wings. He looked contemptibly at Crown Prince Mo, who got shot while lying down. Ignorant. Crown Prince Mo, did Kiao Kiao not recognize what it was I there? How come only he was scolded? What egg? Kiao Mu pressed curiously. The blood fire phoenix had the urge to vomit blood and shouted, Quickly search inside the pit again. This Zuo appear in pairs. There should be two eggs inside the pit. Chapter 2238 Nearly squandering a precious treasure. Woof, it's underneath that doggy's paw. The bloodfire phoenix screamed, quickly. Kiao Mu's scalp tingled from his flustered scream. She hastily darted over and brushed aside a little doggy. Sure enough. She saw it under its paw. She rescued the black pigeon egg. She put the two eggs together. One shimmered faint purple, while the other was black. The blood fire phoenix flapped his small wings and hovered over the two eggs for a while. Only then did he land firmly on Kiao Mu's shoulder and look at his little master like he expected better from her. You nearly lost two sacred beast eggs. Kiao Mu. How would she know that these two things that looked like pigeon eggs were sacred beast eggs? Truthfully speaking, she had just been thinking whether she should roast that faint purple egg and see if she could eat it. You're thinking of roasting phoenixes again. This utterly heartless little fellow. She had also wanted to roast him back when she first saw him. The little fire phoenix's accusatory expression unfathomably made Kiao Mu feel a bit guilty, yet she stubbornly refuted nonsense. When did I say I wanted to roast it? I can't even finish the chicken and duck eggs in the paradise. Why would I eat such a tiny pigeon egg? This is a pair of phoenix eggs, you know? Kiao Mu. Phoenix eggs are the size of pigeon eggs. You're kidding. Molian coughed lightly and put his arm around Kiao Kiao's shoulder. He nodded and said, we naturally know. The blood fire phoenix looked at them in contempt. Fui, from their expressions just now, it was obvious that they had no idea what these two eggs were. Our Phoenix clan has many branches, like King Luan. You know about the King Luan, right? They are also considered a branch of our Phoenix clan, just that their bloodline is a bit more distant. They have yet to meet the standard of sacred beasts. This pair of Zuo is also a branch bloodline of our Phoenix clan. Pure blooded Zuo have a pristine bloodline. You were just about to feed them to little doggies. Kiao Mu, cough. Kiao Mu was practically unable to meet the Fire Phoenix's accusatory gaze. The little fellow immediately looked up and glared at her hubby in a huff. Hubby is so learned and talented possessing knowledge rare to even the most erudite man. How could you not even recognize a phoenix egg? Molian got shot while lying down again. He looked at his wife aggrievedly, please, he had only seen the beautiful figure of an adult zero phoenix in ancient books. Which ancient book would depict the egg? Woof, woof. Seeing that they were about to lose the phoenix eggs, the three puppies paced around Kiao Mu anxiously. Scram. Kiao Mu was filled with anger. When she saw the little doggies drooling and gluttonous expressions just now, she had really just nearly. Cough. Apologies, apologies. However, speaking of which, these three little doggies were also strange. They had been scampering to eat the double-headed flood dragon's sacred beast core previously. Now, they wanted to eat two sacred beast phoenixes. They were freaking focused on eating sacred beasts. Wasn't this preference too exotic? Kiao Mu silently put the eggs in her own inner world. When she looked back, she couldn't help but yelp. Ah, Guan Zhoutang ran off. Just now, everyone's attention was on the tree pit. They had been gathering forging materials and also fumbling around with the phoenix eggs. She didn't expect Guan Zhoutang to take this chance to escape. Molian curled his lips. Ran off. He won't. Just as he said this, they heard the sound of hasty footsteps approaching. Chapter 2239 had made preparations. Guan Zhoutang, who had disheveled hair and bloodied eyes, had rushed back over with several thousand Danu prefecture guards. He gave a furious shout. Capture them alive. Guan Zhoutang's hands were still tied with the spirit binding rope. His face was flushed red from chagrin. He was absolutely livid right now. He had mobilized everyone he could inside the Ani prefecture. 
The guards swarmed toward the Tower of Wondrous Treasures in large numbers. Their shining blades looked even more bright in the night. Young uns will suffer when they are so arrogant. Guan Zotang raised up his tied hands and hollered. Mo Lian pulled Kiao Mu to his side and raised his eyebrow at Guan Zotang. Are you too overconfident? You plan to keep us with just this bit of people? The crown prince couldn't help but scoff. He raised his hand and waved. In a split second, Tung rushed over with several thousand well-equipped men from all directions. This area soon became congested, even the rooftops were filled with archers at the ready. Guan Zotang gaped. He suddenly felt like his voice was trapped inside his throat. He was momentarily unable to respond. You, you people. These deed fellows had actually assembled troops. They were planning to raise his official mansion. Guan Zotang was unable to mobilize more manpower at such short notice. In reality, given enough time, he could assemble tens and even hundreds of thousands of men, but right now, everything was a bit too late. Guan Zotang's sight had turned blurry from overusing his spiritual conscious. The last thing he saw seemed to be that man apathetically waving his hand. The young men in black surged over and started fighting with the Annie Prefecture guards. Guan Zotang was dizzy. His body teetered as the sound of clashing blades entered his ears. He suddenly heard the roar of a beast. He reflexively spread open his hand and summoned his own contract beast. Unfortunately, the moment his spiritual beast came out, a snow white ball tackled it and bit its throat before it could even catch sight of the other party. Guan Zotang had collapsed to the ground. His spiritual beast's severe injury had caused his body a serious backlash. At this moment, his eyes had become completely blind. He could only sense something humongous pressing down on his body. He struggled to get up and howled at the top of his lungs. Someone, before he could even say come. He felt his head getting smacked by a forceful paw. He spewed blood on the spot, and his body became limp. The snow leopard that was pressing down on Guan Zotang's body disdainfully wiped away the blood on its paws on Guan Zotang's clothes. Kiao Mu walked over slowly. Tung and the others who were currently engaged in fierce fights couldn't help but lift up their opponents and retreat to both sides to make a path for her. Annie Prefecture's guards felt more shocked the more they fought. These young men in black who had seemingly descended like heavenly soldiers all had agile movements and got fiercer the more they fought. Their contract beasts were also mostly spiritual beasts. A lot of their equipment was even better than theirs from the Annie Prefecture. How could they continue fighting? Those who surrender can live. Chapter 2240 Who dares resist? Those who put up a desperate struggle will be executed on the spot. At Tung's order, the group of young men in black raised their weapons and callously started eliminating foes. As the number of people dying inside the official mansion increased, more Annie Prefecture guards chose to set down their blades and curled up like shrimp. Guan Yibo, who was hiding behind a column in the corridor, covered her mouth tightly. She abruptly leaned back and softly took several breaths before swiftly heading back to her courtyard. Guan Yiba ran back to their housing compound and suddenly laughed loudly at the sky. Concubine Jiang walked out and saw her daughter acting like this. She could not help but ask in astonishment, what's happening outside, Boa? Mom, let's go. We're leaving right now. Guan Yiba helped her mother up and started walking outside. Don't bother so much. This clan has offended a formidable power. It's completely over for the clan. What? Concubine Jiang yelped in shock and hastily gripped her daughter's arm. What happened? Boa, quickly tell mom. There's no time, mom. We have to leave this hellhole first. Guan Yiba had completely lost all hope in this clan. Even if she had to give up all of this and leave alone with her mom. She had nothing to hesitate about. Everyone in this clan was a stranger. Besides her mom, no one had truly treated her sincerely. In that case, bang! A staggering figure crashed open the door to their room. Madame Hua looked in terror at them. Sixth, sixth young lady, sixth young lady, please, bring me away with you. Sixth young lady, the forces outside had turned into a jumbled mess. Those young concubines in the official mansion without the strength to trust a chicken lived in Comfton had never encountered such an issue. Each of them would only cry when they encountered an incident. Her boy servant and maid servant had swept away a lot of wealth. They had no time to care about their master's escape, 
only caring about finding a place to escape. Madame Hua's two personal maidservants had also fled with a lot of wealth. Madame Hua was only a delicate beauty. She promptly panicked and had no idea what to do. Sister Jiang, B. R. Bring me with you. Please, I beg you. Madame Hua carried a bundle and called out repeatedly. Guan Yibo looked at her. Suddenly, a knife hand strike hit the back of Madame Hua's neck. Madame Hua's eyes turned round from shock. She limply slid down the wall. Guan Yibo snatched away the bundle in her hands and opened it. When she saw the large number of cores and spirit currency inside, she quickly put it away in her inner world. Boa. Concubine Jiang cowered and asked, Won't, won't it be bad for? for you to do that? The strong prey on the weak, with survival of the fittest. Guan Zotang waved her fist and looked coldly at Madame Hua. This woman made trouble for you because she hid Guan Zotang's favor. I'm only taking revenge right now. Mom, you cannot be soft-hearted. Let's go. Concubine Jiang sighed. She nodded and walked out with her daughter. She subconsciously looked back at Madame Hua who had collapsed inside the doors. One's fate really could not be controlled. Mom, don't worry. We will live much better after leaving the Guan clan.